Welcome everyone. Today I'm going to talk about our approach called OverlapNet to address the problem of loop closing for LIDAR-based SLAM. SLAM is a fundamental capability required by most autonomous systems. It often relies on two parts. One part is incremental pulse estimation, and the other part is loop closing to eliminate the drift and reduce the pulse uncertainty. In this paper, we focus on the loop closing part for LiDAR-based SLAM for autonomous vehicles. Loop closing means identifying that the robot is at a previously same place in the context of SLAM. Our overlap net uses a deep neural network and provides the overlap and relative yaw angle estimates between pairs of LiDAR scans in an end-to-end -end fashion. Based on such estimates, we tackle the loop closing problem by integrating our overlap net into a SLAM system. The overlap between two LiDAR scans can be defined as the ratio of points that can be seen from the both LiDAR scans. The reason why we use overlap to find loop closure candidates is that larger overlap values often correspond to better alignment between pairs of LiDAR scans. This is an example. We have two LiDAR scans. Scan A colored blue and scan B colored orange. If we put the scan B to a wrong location with respect to the scan A, the overlap between them is low. Otherwise, if the relative location is correct, the overlap between them is quite high if they are nearby. Our approach is able to predict the overlap without knowing relative transformation between the scans. This can help us to find loop closure candidates. This is the pipeline overview of our approach. On the left-hand side, you see the pre-processing of the input data. It exploits multiple cues generated from the LiDAR scans, including range, normal, intensity, and semantic information, which are shown here as different colored image layers. We use all this information as the input to our overlap net. On the right-hand side, you see the architecture of the overlap net, which is a modified SIMIS network. It consists of two legs and two heads. The two legs have the same architecture and they share all weight. The two heads use the same pairs of facial volumes generated from the two legs. One head is called the delta head, which is used to predict the overlap between pairs of scans. The other head is called the correlation head, which is used to predict the relative yaw angle between pairs of scans. Here, we choose the precision and recall results of our methods comparing to other baselines for loop closure detection. The red line represents our overlap-based method combined with post-uncertainty. As can be seen, our method outperforms other methods on both KT and Fort Campus datasets. Note that we trained our methods only on parts of KT datasets and tested it on both KT and Fort Campus datasets. That shows a good generalization of our method. Here we choose the SLAM results after we integrating our overlap net into a 3D LiDAR SLAM system. On the left hand side, you see the local map of the SLAM. On the right hand side, you see the corresponding pulse graph. The red dots represent the loop closure found by our approach. Once it finds the loop, the SLAM system can correct the drift and generate a more globally consistent map. Here it shows that our approach can also find loop closures in a challenging situation where the car comes back into an intersection from the opposite direction. Here we show our dormitory results in comparison with the original SLAM method. We can see that after integrating our overlap net, the overall dormitory is more accurate. To summarize this work, we first propose an approach to find loop closures using 3D LiDAR scans. It estimates the overlap and relative yaw angle between pairs of scans using range images. Our approach can also find loop closure candidates in challenging situations. And the experimental results showed that our approach generalized well over different datasets. In the end, we successfully integrate our approach into a SLAM system and improve its overall performance. The code of OverlapNet has already been released on our GitHub. Please feel free to give a try. Thank you for your attention.